Van de Vaak Pyro RDTA. Let's go. Hey guys, Vape Pick here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this, the Vandy Vape Pyro RDTA. What is it? It is an RDTA that comes in. TPD compliant 2mm version and 4mm version available for the rest of the world. Uh, the 2mm version has a little clip that you just pull out to turn it into a 4mm capacity like the Govad RTA did. So it's going to be available TPD styly in the UK. Uh, for the rest of the world, it's a 24mm RDTA with a 4mm capacity. Take that thing out, it's the same as everyone else's, okay? Um, postless design. Uh, very interesting airflow going on as well. Uh, the best thing to do is go down low, where I can show you all this, show you my build, and then come back up top for some pros and cons. Is this just an, another RDTA, or have they managed to do something a bit different on this? Uh, let's let's go and have a look. All right, guys, here we are up close with the Pyro RDTA. This is just the sample packaging, to be honest. Uh, the packaging that you receive if you purchase this will look different. Uh, it's just a sticker and it says sample up there. Um, but yes, this is roughly what the packaging may look like. Uh, sliding this out of here like this, and uh, we have our RDTA. Uh, we have a spare see-through glass tank if you don't like the Ultim one. Uh, we have uh, an adapter for our goon uh, tips, turning it from a goon to a normal. And then we have our tank. Uh, there is some spares underneath as well. I can show you those if you like. Allen key, O-rings, grub screws, etc. Uh, this is the tank. There we go, look at that. We've got our goon size Ultim drip tip. We've got our Ultim tank as well. We have a nice protruding 510 there. Underneath we've got pyro sample, Vandy vape, etc. We have our adjustable airflow on top here. Uh, you can see how I have it, but you can have it as wide open as like that, or like I have it, oh, like I have it, you can have it closed off like that. Um, if we lift this up it reveals the uh, the top top section of this um, you know it's got that split top cap style and that's how the uh, the actual uh, airflow works. Okay so removing the top cap uh, reveals what's really going on here you've got a nice um, closed off top cap section here which will add to the flavor you've also got these two grooves now they have to correspond with the two holes on the sides of the deck here uh, that is uh, that's the point of those those block up the refill holes when you have the cap on so you can turn it upside down you can do what you like when the cap is on obviously stick your juice in there to fill up you can see what build I've got going on here there we go right there uh, so I've got a nice big dual coil on in, in here uh, it is a postless deck so uh, you basically screw up these two screws on the sides uh, and you know you just drop your coils down if we turn our attention to the wicking you can see that it's got these huge wicking slots here uh, absolutely massive so you can stuff as much cotton as you want down these grooves and it works absolutely fine uh, very very generous uh, having all this space to put your cotton in very very generous indeed and uh, it means it wicks like an absolute champion which is great putting the top cap back on this can be a bit fiddly sometimes there we go that is back on and there is our RDTA in the flesh there we go the Vandy Vape Pyro. Let's go back up top and talk about it. Okay, guys, that was the Pyro RDTA from Vandy Vape down low. So, they have done some interesting things on this. Uh, they've kind of mixed up and changed up the, the way you wick this. It has those huge wick slots, which allows you to put as much cotton as you want along through your coils and just stuff down into those huge gaps. Uh, stuff down as much wick as you like and it will wick rapido it will wick very quickly indeed um 
Also, they have the thing going on with the holes to fill it. So when you have the cap closed, you can do that as much as you want. But if you take this cap off, you've got those two holes to fill it. Um, so it has that going on as well. Lastly, the deck is quite unique. You know, they've gone for this postless style deck, which is really easy to use and I've had no problems with at all. So, they have done some nice stuff on this. It is an, a very nice, interesting RDTA. Um, positives. I think the positives are the flexibility of it. You can put whatever coils you like in here. You could do a really nice single coil in here, as well as a dual coil. And it wouldn't be a compromised deck. You don't have to put in a divider or a separator or a blocker in one side of this. You can put a nice single coil in the existing deck and it would work very, very well. Dual coils fit in easily. You can get nice, big, chunky coils, any coils you want in here, and it will work very, very well. And I think that's really good. I also like the options that it comes with as well. Fits goon tips. Big thumbs up on that. It comes with an Ultim tank or a normal tank, you know, so you can't even slag it off for the Ultim thing if uh, you're not a fan of the Ultim situation. Uh, adjustable airflow. I think this little groove thing... I don't think it does much. If I'm being completely honest, I don't think it's a big thing. Uh, I, you know, it is, it's a slightly different way of doing the airflow. It's a fairly, you know, quiet, smooth airflow tank. Um, but I don't think that little groove does much, you know. It's a very airy thing. If you can see here, I have mine down to uh, half on the airflow. So it's it's airy the little groove in the airflow i don't think does much to be honest um but uh, really nice vape vaping away like this i think it's absolutely tremendous vape flavor is excellent um wicking excellent no problems there vapor production on point, as you can see. So, does nothing wrong in those uh, in those situations. It's a very, very solid, very, very nice RDTA. A couple of things I will point out. Um, it's even if you put a single coil in, even if you close the airflow right down, I don't see this as a low wattage device, a low wattage uh, atomizer. <laughs> um, so that's the thing. That's the thing. Um, the only other slight negative I have is just something to be aware of completely it can be a tiny bit fiddly to um, get this lined up right to have it perfectly on there so not bad that time but sometimes it has taken me a little bit of shuffling and fiddling to get the top back on so if you are constantly taking your RDTA on and off uh, then that's something to bear in mind because you can't quickly drop this back on it needs to fit into those grooves um, so that's a thing um, beyond that though, I don't have any real complaints. I think it's decent looking. Uh, I think it's easy to refill. It uh, is easy to build. You can put whatever coils you like in. It's good dual, it's good single, it's good flavour. You know, do you need to throw all your existing RDTAs in the bin? Absolutely not. You know, it's not a complete ga game changer. But for me, it's probably the best cloudy RDTA on the market right now. Very, very tasty. Very, very cool. Um, so a solid, solid winner. Uh, remember, there will be a TPD version available as well as a worldwide normal 4mm version as well. I'm Vaden Vic and I'll see you again soon.